This time of year, it's common for students to visit their doctors for their annual physicals and vaccinations. But COVID-19 has upset the usual plans. Still, doctors say it is important to stay up to date with those checks and protections. Dr. Eric Barth is a pediatrician at Alina Health, and he joins me now to talk about why it's okay, important even, to still pre do preventative care right now. Doctor, such an important message. Have families- Absolutely, yes. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for being with uh, us. So have families- There was a time early on in the uh, stay at home uh, period when we were encouraging people to postpone visits that weren't considered essential. And that did at that time include uh, well checks and even routine immunizations. But now we really encourage people to get back into the clinic to have their well checks and their immunizations because we do consider them so important. And so have people been doing that? Have you seen an uptick in kids coming in for those physicals and vaccines? Yes, absolutely. So for much of the summer, we have had patients coming back in for those well checks and those immunizations. We've been getting them caught up. Uh, again, because of that time early in the spring when we were postponing visits, some kids did get behind on their immunizations. But now we're, we're taking extra precautions, of course. We're uh, disinfecting the, the rooms in between every patient. Uh, when I see a patient, I'm wearing a, a, a mask and goggles, and if everyone who comes into the clinic wears a mask, we're back to seeing patients, and our schedules have been quite busy, in fact, uh, seeing those well checks again. Now let's talk about the flu shot. I know that's something that people have really been stressing this fall. When is the best time to get that flu shot? We're recommending that people try to get it by the end of October. Uh, we should have it available here at Alina starting September 7th and you would need to call and, and make an appointment to get that vaccine. But it's extra important this year because of COVID-19. Uh, right now, and over the course of the summer, if someone came in with a fever or flu-like symptoms, we know to be suspicious of COVID. But when fall comes and winter, and we are get into cold and flu season, it's gonna be a little bit confusing when somebody comes in with the uh, symptoms that are flu-like, is it influenza or is it COVID? So it's gonna be really important to get as many people as possible vaccinated against influenza so that as many people as possible are protected from influenza and are able to stay out of the clinic. All right, and finally, if you did get fall behind in your vaccines for your child, is it too late to get them? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. The, the, the way it works with vaccines is that if you're, if you're behind a little bit, uh, there's no end point where we say, oh, now you have to start over. It's nothing like that. So basically, you just come in and you get those, those vaccines that you were uh, behind on. And usually we're able to get people caught up uh, pretty quickly. All right, great information. Thanks for being with us, doctor. And you can get a link to immunization schedules and all the doctor's health tips by texting 4 p.m., no spaces, no punctuation to us at the number on your screen.